Hey friends, welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Thanks for joining us today. So before I get the video started, I just wanted to um, send out a huge thank you to all of you who commented on our last video regarding midnight. Um, I, yeah, it was a tough video to produce and we just truly, both Chuck and I appreciate all of your comments and kind words and thoughts and prayers that you sent out to us. Um, we miss her terribly and um, you know it's just been a really big loss for our family and for the ranch. We especially appreciate the one gentleman who suggested that we name our future stable Midnight's Stable. That will happen for certain in memory of her. Um, it will be a wonderful home for both Trip and Jolie. And as soon as we get moved into the log home, that will be the next thing that is built. So um, be on the lookout for that. A little bit down the road, but hopefully sooner than later, because we got to make sure that we have a comfortable place for these amazing animals to have shelter. On to what is going on here on the ranch. Um, so the other weekend, we obviously did not have a huge amount of time to work on the log home, but we did get a little bit of flooring done. So we have Dan, Harvey, and Ricky here putting together the hearth, the base of it. Chuck's dream is becoming a reality. Thank you, gentlemen. And you got this from Dan? Yeah. So it's for tight areas. Show me what you, you just stick the nail in it. Yep. Hold on. Nail goes in the end. So we're just using the same nails we use for the floor. And then this is a little bit. Sounds like you in bed. What are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely no sense. <laughs> You're talking about my snoring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So this is where the tile will go into the bathroom. I said to meet the hardwood floors. Just tread down where it's not gonna raise up. Fabulous. <clears throat> dig it, dig it, man. And then last weekend, we had wrestling. So wrestling season has started up for Gabe and he had a big tournament in Roanoke. 
And so we were there all night Friday night and then all day Saturday. And um, he did pretty well. He uh, wrestled up a weight class. So that was a big challenge for him. Gabe's getting ready for his second match. Getting pumped up. Hoping for another pin. On Sunday, we got back into the swing of things. Um, we also worked a bit during the weekday after, um, especially Chuck, after dinners. And so we are powering through getting the hardwood flooring done. And I believe tonight Chuck and I are gonna work and hopefully finish it all off. So that's gonna be a huge project to be finished up and, um, and, and a big thing to check off of our to-do list. Um, the other thing that I've been doing is staining upstairs. And so I've um, pretty much almost completed Bree's room and obviously loving the look of it. And then moving into the bunk room, getting that completed. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll get a lot more done in the loft area and the ceiling in there as well. It is Sunday. Yesterday we were at Gabe's wrestling tournament, so we were not able to do any work. But I just wanted to show what we have gotten done during the week after dinner. We've come in here and done quite a bit. So we're getting close to finishing this project off. I did want to show you what Dan and Corbin did this week. Come over here. They did the walls down the side of the staircase and they put in some pine treads. So the stairs are completed here, all the way down here. Hello, handsome. Hello. And then they framed out the doorway for both sides. Yay. Yay, progress. Coming together. Oh, and they also did this. I wanna show you guys. So they helped us out with this edging here. Yeah, and they just took a piece of tree and took the router and rounded the edges to make it a bull nose. That looks really cool. And it worked out perfectly. It's really smooth and nice. Yep. Yeah. Gabe is sore. He kicked some booty yesterday and had a little booty kick into himself. I didn't kick any booty yesterday. You did? You had three pins to begin with? Well, okay, yeah, but still, it was part of the tournament. Then, I got then you got your booty kicked. Yeah, yeah that's because he chose to wrestle up 15 pounds. So he weighs 176, and he chose to wrestle 190. So <laughs> you won't make that mistake again, will you, Gabe? 175, is that what you're going to do the next, next tournament? Yeah, yeah. Or put on some weight, dude. Okay. We're gonna get cracking.
You're almost there, baby. About an inch and a half. You can do it. You can do it. And you're there. Ta da! Now let's hope the length is right. We should have cut it a little bit longer. We didn't have to cut it that perfectly. I think it'll be okay. But At least because that groove will be underneath the step there. That, that'll be good. gentlemen have been working hard downstairs finishing up the hardwood floors at least the side closest to the front door and under the stairs you're getting there yep yeah we're almost there that's awesome yeah we're gonna stop off we finish this side and start moving some rock okay how exciting so i have been upstairs working on bree's room and I can say it is about 98% completed. I got the ceilings and the walls done. So the 2% is kind of dark in here. That's not done is up there. I need to sand those logs down and then stain them. And up there as well, you can see, I need to clean them up. And then the guys, Harvey and Corbin, I need to come have them come finish up this closet ceiling. I need to stain that. And then I gotta clean up the logs down below and stain those. And then we gotta do all the trim. But that we're gonna do down the road. And obviously I need to stain the trim when we put them in. And then the flooring, as you can see, I have made a complete mess of the floors. But the plan for the flooring is to put in hardwood flooring like we have downstairs but we're not gonna do that until next year. So in the meantime, what Brie has decided she wants for her floors is we're gonna paint them white to kind of brighten her room a little bit. And, um, and then she'll put a rug in here and then obviously her bed and desk and everything. So, and then the rest of the flooring, I think I'm actually just gonna stain the dark color as well for the <laughs> for the remainder of the year. And then we'll put the hardwood floors on next year when we have a little more time and money. So I have just a little bit of stain left and I don't feel like sanding up high right now. So I'm actually gonna start putting some stain into the bunk room and just kind of polish that off while the guys finish up the hardwood flooring.
friends, we are nearing the end. Can you believe it? Chuck is playing with his tool. Go for it, baby. Right. Stay straight. <laughs> the pressure's on. It is 9.30 on a Tuesday night, and we are determined. Are we actually going to finish this tonight? You don't know. <laughs> what do you think, puppies? Capone's like, I'm already snoozing. I'm worn out. You people wear me out, all the work you do. Okay, sounds good. 10 o'clock, Capella? Does that sound good? You can lay down at 10 o'clock? I'm already ready to go, even at 10, 9.30 p.m. Looking up, wanting more, this is so unreal. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see? I must have been wrong. Your love is strong for him Why would it not be? He's always there for you I keep living alone We're so far from home The pups did not outlast us. Good. Lazy bums sleeping on the job. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so we have one more row to go, but we're calling it a night because this last row entails us cutting the tongue off of the final board, which means that we need to use the saw outside, and it's dark outside, and that's not safe. Yeah, it's not a hard it's thing. Like, I mean, this is like 30 minutes will be done. Yep. There's nothing really complicated at all. Nope, but we We're decided it since off, it's... Slap it in. Nail it down. It down. Yeah. But Good since it's 10 o'clock at night and we're dealing with a huge blade, 1020, <laughs> and um, it's dark outside, we said to hold off. So we'll deal with it later. So, good night, puppies. You want to go inside? Come on. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Yeah. Come on. Off we go. Come on, Cabela. Good girl. We hope you all take excellent care. We're so excited that you are following along with us, and we appreciate you all watching, and we hope you have a very blessed day. Take care, everybody. Oh, holy night. Decorating the tree. Oh, that I got for you in Poland. Brightly shining. Yeah. It's the night of the dear Savior. Bree is over here making Christmas cookies and running the new bread maker. The world it's working hard in there. Sin and Woo! He appeared in the soul Skunk's first Christmas as well. Peter's first decking of the tree. The star is up. Can you hide the cord a little bit? Tuck the cord in there, Peter. There we go. Fabulous. Good job, gentlemen. Looks great. The tree is decked. You guys did a fabulous job. Very impressed. Good work. Christ was born.